Hello guys, uh, this is Sai Chiran from Tech Deep Dive. Uh, in this video, we will see about how to uh, create package.xml file in an easy manner by using uh, uh, extension from the Visual Studio Code. So without further ado, let's let's jump into this. Uh, so there is an extension called Salesforce package.xml generator, uh, which is available in the extension section of the Visual Studio Code. For that, you have to just type Salesforce package.xml. I think uh, that th that will pop up uh, uh, extensions here. So if you can see, this is the extension which I'm talking about, Salesforce package.xml generator extension for VS Code. Uh, install this extension. I have already installed it on my VS Code. So it has some instructions. So if you want to generate a package.xml file, uh, you need to create a project with manifest. So sfdx create project with manifest command and authorize it using, I mean, you can authorize later. So for, for creating package.xml, I will be taking any one of the source code available on the GitHub somewhere. So I'll be showing that now for now. So uh, let's uh, get into this. So create a project. I'm opening my terminal and create a project with manifest. So I'm creating a project with manifest. I'm giving it a name. Package XML. Let's hit enter. So I'll be choosing my desktop create project. So it created package.xml file under manifest folder as you can see. So these are all the metadata components which are available in the package.xml. So let's try to put some metadata into the force app uh, which I can get it from the uh, GitHub somewhere. So I already have uh, one of the Dreamhouse app with me presently so i'll be copying this force app control c and i'll go to the desktop and i'll paste it over there so desktop package.xml control so currently force app doesn't have any application or stuff i'll go back and i'll overwrite the file force app So now as you see, the force app does contain application and uh, classes. So, so come to our project here. So it currently doesn't have any application. Oh, it, it has reflected. Uh, so as you can see, it has reflected. Uh, so if not, just uh, use the refresh button, which is available here. So once you install the, as we have already installed the extension, let's use the terminal to create a package.xml. So meanwhile, uh, let me open the package.xml in uh, one of the tab. So use control shift P, then type package.xml, a command will pop up. So sfdx package.xml generator, choose metadata components. So select this one. Uh, so a window will pop up where you have to select uh, all the metadata components which you want to be in your package.xml file. So as Apex classes component space are already selected because it is part of package.xml. So those are all selected. So let's uh, unselect all these things. just select only apex classes and then it will take some time to refresh the metadata and uh, it won't take much time uh, update the package.xml so as soon as you update the package.xml file here in the package.xml the contents are already reflected so let's get into the package uh, apex class and uh, let's try to remove only one and let's see whether it is really updating or not here you go so all the classes are reflected here except the first one so the package.xml is updated with the uh, latest uh, metadata and uh, if you select this and uh, select only analytic action link group template update the template update the package.xml as you can see the package 
dot xml file is updated with the uh, selected uh, metadata so like this way you can easily uh, you know create package dot xml uh, using this uh, super extension so let me know your thoughts on this uh, if you find any difficulty in creating the package dot xml file here uh, i can uh, quickly help you on this if you if you can post error message if what you're getting in the comment section thank you thank you so much guys subscribe to my channel for more videos and uh, hit a thumbs up button if you like the video